Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You may have noticed that in my past few videos, I've done those videos using a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Usually I do my videos using a 27 inch iMac. I have a 27 inch iMac at home and I have another one with identical specs in my studio. Well, my home is being renovated, at least some of the rooms are, and the office that contains that iMac has been torn down to studs and new drywall put up and being painted and new floor put in. So that iMac is put away. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll know that I haven't been going into my studio for a very specific reason. So I've been working from home using my new 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro and I'll have the specs for this computer in the description below this video. I thought some of you might be interested to know how this M1 MacBook Pro performs with Lightroom. So I'm just going to do a short video. It's not really scientific. I just want to demo some things that bug me about Lightroom that seem to run very slow on my iMacs, but run really, really well and quickly on this M1 MacBook Pro. One thing that bugs me is when you're in grid view, and now my Lightroom library is very large, 75,244 images. And when I'm in grid view and I would scroll through these thumbnail images, a lot of times it would take a long time for them to render. You could see that it's instantaneous uh, with this. So there's no issue at all with having an image render or not render when you're scrolling through the images. Same thing for the film strip. You could scroll through here as well. It just I just opened up my widgets up there. But you could scroll through here as well and you could see that it instantaneous. Also, even on my iMacs, which are pretty, you know, you know, fast as well. I'll have the specs for those in the description below this video as well. But with my iMacs, even if I scroll over here on the left panel at my folder, sometimes that would stick and take a long time, and that would really bug me. Um, now, when you jump between modules, it's like instant. You're ready to process right away. So I'm really super impressed with these M1 MacBook Pros. Unfortunately, they're super expensive. Um, for, you know, if you have a business, if you're a professional photographer, at least you could write it off. Um, if you're, you know, an enthusiast, I'm not so sure it's worth the money uh, because they are like, you know, you pay a premium for Apple product anyway, which is like well over and above what an equivalent type of PC would run. But now we don't have an apples to apples comparison anymore because this doesn't have an Intel chip in it that you could directly compare to uh, a PC running Windows. Instead, now it has this Apple proprietary M1, and in my case, the Max chip. So, just thought I'd share it with you. I thought some of you might be interested to kind of see in this kind of very limited view I'm giving you of how it performs. Uh, I just have to say I'm super impressed with it. I think it, uh, I think it really is something. So, that's it for this video. I'm sorry. Um, you know, it's, I don't, I can't really think of a better way to demo it than to just showing you um, it's scrolling because that's the main thing that always bugged me about Lightroom, how long it took these thumbnails to render. And even if I make them like bigger and they have to be larger to render, you can see that's pretty instantaneous. So that's it. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.